The rock floor in the shallows. Lots going on, seaweed and seafloor creatures. On the shingle and rock seabed, brown algae grow in abundance. Here the sea floor is softer, with areas of sand between the rocks and gravel, mussels showing their muscles with the little urchins. Now we are down on the soft area with very few signs of life, apart from the starfishes, or so it seems. A common whelk is seen here creeping along, where the soft sediment and rocks meet. It's digging for treasure, or at least some tasty morsels in the sand. And here we see an ocean quahog, buried in the sediment, ejaculating semen with his proboscis. And here the female is laying her eggs, just as well they produce them in millions. Here's a little scud looking for a snack. Most of the sea floor consists of soft bottom and contains a multitude of living creatures dug into the bottom. Some spend their whole lives buried in the sediment. Talk about having your head in the sand. This could be some type of worm or a proboscis. Maybe coming from a shellfish. This lemon sole has adapted to life in the sand. Flatfish start life as quite normally looking fish. As they mature, one eye moves round its head and it takes to lying on its side on the bottom. Here we see gills of a bristle worm. He is safely hidden in the sand, but sends up his gill crown to filter minute particles of food from the ocean. Here we find a muddy area with starfish. We can also see a number of brittle worm appendages poking up from the seabed. Flatfish love this environment. Here we see a common dab by a lugworm's cast. This spiralling worm-like formation in the sand is actually the faeces of the worm that lives beneath it. The dab is his arch enemy, a prized delicacy for many flatfish. Our diver comes to his rescue just in the nick of time. A shoal of dabs gliding just above the seabed. Thirteen varieties of flatfish frequent the waters around Iceland. Some are high-value catches like halibut, place and lemon sole. Rays are also flat and like the soft areas, though strictly they are not classified as flatfish. Now we know that there's a lot more going on in the soft seabed, where the soft life flourishes.